Yeah, so Magic the Mat bah, Magic the Gathering has made a product for its poor Magic players. They have named this product a value booster. Now this value booster, it's kind of like Pokemon dollar packs. Are we going to see these at the local dollar store or the Walmart? I don't know. But uh, I would highly doubt they're going to be a dollar each, even though the contents are absolute garbage. The contents are free commons, two uncommons, one card of any type, which could be a common or uncommon, most likely. It also could be a rare or a mythic, so they call it a wild card, which goes back to MTG Arena, of course. And then one land, foil, or special guest. I don't know what special guest is, probably something particular to this set. Now, it looks like they are in blister packs, which is different from the Pokemon value packs, which are not in blister packs. I remember a long time ago, Magic the Gathering in 2015, and they wanted to save on recyclable paper or, or, or plastic, I guess. And they made the entire set out of uh, very easy to damage cardboard. So when these cards were transported, they would get damaged like a mf -er, right? I mean... Yikes. Uh, big yikes. Uh, but anyway, back to my point about this. A lot of, you know, a lot of this is weird. I am an old school player, and I want one pack. I do not give a damn about multiple packs. I do not care about, and honestly, it is complications for no reason. It is complications for no reason, in my personal opinion, because at the end of the day, why the hell do we need so many variants of every single card? Can we just have one, you know, pack, which then we can just, if you want to spend more money, buy more packs. Is this crazy or what? Am I crazy here or is this like something that people don't get? Um... Now, now, okay, so the history is really strange. We had one pack, which is I liked. That was back in the good days. Then we went from one pack to two packs, collector packs, and then the regular pack. Then we went to, uh, to three different packs. We went to set pack, which essentially is the play pack. And we also had draft. Draft we still had for under $100, so most boxes you can get for 100 So the draft pack would be the normal pack. It's what people wanted to pay, $100 a box, that's what I'm used to paying, that's what my game store is used to charging me, that would be the regular, that would be, so the play box, which would be the normal booster box, is now the lowest of the low, lowest end tier, then we have a set box for quote collectors, then we have a collector box for uber collectors. Since then, they got rid of the the uh, draft box and the set box has now become the play box. How do I know the set box is the play box? They're not having the same price. Right? I mean, it's the same price on Amazon. It's the same price everywhere else. Now, the play box is, is a lowest tier box. And then we have the collector box. Now we got the value booster for all the people who can't afford... Like, I, I don't understand why they get rid of the set or draft. I thought that was okay. Not great, but at least you, you still had the box that I grew up with. You just kind of treat it like shit, the draft. But it's still there if you want to just open boxes. I um We didn't have power for a long time, and we opened a box of original Innistrad, uh, my girlfriend and I. We also opened a bunch of Spy Family. Didn't really hit anything in either of those two boxes, but we had fun. Um, that box of original Innistrad was less than $100 at one time. There wasn't a collector's edition or a set or the value. There was no need for the value box. The value booster is a piece of shit, man. I mean, you could even not get a rare. You know how many rares you can get in, like, uh, Baldur's Gate? You get, like, five or six rares. And one, one uh, draft or set pack. One set pack, you know, I've gotten five rares many times. And they're all, like, 20 cent rares. You can at least throw them a bone and give them a rare, right? Like a guaranteed rare. I mean, a rare today is worthless. Um, 
it is. It just simply is not worth as much money as you think it would used to be. I don't know, man. It's it's weird. Like I get it. Hey, people don't got no money, so they got to uh, they got to do this. Um, but the one part I don't understand: why did he get rid of the draft bot? I, I thought the draft was perfectly fine. It did its purpose. It allowed people to have fun opening boxes at a relatively again. I'm not saying hundred dollars is cheap. It's not in today's economy but it was relatively okay um i don't know why they got rid of it i have no idea why they got rid of it yeah i mean geez i still remember when there was no mythics those were the good times there was no mythics there was only you know like God, they kept like they kept draining. I don't think this is a good thing. I think we're heading down the wrong way. The value booster it reminds me of Great Value, which is Walmart's brand, and that's not like it's not a premium thing, right? It's it's Great Value, and you got one pack at twenty seven dollars, and technically the other pack. I don't, I don't think it'll be a dollar. I think a lot of people think it'll be a dollar because Pokemon is a dollar. But remember, Pokemon doesn't have that blister sleeve, which makes me think it's going to be way more than a dollar. I would not be shocked if this thing was like two to at least two dollars, but I would not be shocked if it's three dollars a pack, and you aren't even guaranteed a rare. This is not good, guys. This is a really bad idea. Um, they they obviously are going to try to sell some of these. Man, just go back to one pack. Like, I hate collector booster packs. I, I rarely open them. I think I've opened a few on camera. But I don't open them off camera. I, I really think that in terms of, like, what you want. Like, you want people to hit. Like, when Willy Wonka is doing the golden ticket, he didn't make, like, oh, collector's boosters. The golden ticket is only allowed in collector's boosters. Nah, man. It's in every chocolate pack. And the whole idea is even... Uh, even Charlie, I think Charlie was the main character, the kid. Uh, even Charlie, with a whatever money he had to buy one candy bar, could win the lottery. This is like a lottery of like rich people winning. <laughs> I mean, all the good cards are in the collector's pack. Like, you don't need to be a genius to figure out where we're heading. And for a company that seems to be, or supposedly, is so concerned about, um, social justice and what what about the social justice for poor people you're going to give them this this is awful anyway guys 